Hello future educators, you've made it to part 3 of our lead review on technology for teaching and learning. In this final round, we'll cover another 15 multiple choice questions, each with a short rationalization to boost your readiness for the board exam. Number 31, when you plan to improve the next time you pursue a similar activity or task by studying further or collaborating with others, which part of Gibbs reflective cycle is being described? Letter A, analysis. Letter B, conclusion. Letter C, description. Or letter D, action plan. The correct answer is the letter D, action plan. So in this stage, uh, this involves planning what you will do differently next time. So it's about setting goals for improvement and outlining specific, uh, specific steps, like, for example, studying more or collaborating with others. So uh, let's discuss the other choices. For letter A, analysis, this one focuses on understanding why things happened, not what you do next time. Uh, what, yeah. For letter B, conclusion, this summarizes what was learned and what uh, could have been done differently, but doesn't plan future actions. And for letter C, description, this involves recounting what happened. And this is not all about what to do next, so only letter D is the best answer. Number 32, in the, reflect, uh, in the reflection paper submitted by your student, he narrated that the first part of the paper, the details of what had happened during the university debate. Uh, this is all about letter A, analysis, letter B, feelings, letter C, evaluation, or letter D, description. The correct answer is letter D, description. So the description phase of Gibbs reflective cycle is about stating the facts or uh, what happened. So this uh, includes who was involved, where, when, and what took place. So letter D is the best answer. Again, for letter A analysis, this involves examining the reasons and causes, not a factual narrative. For feelings, this involves discussing personal emotions or reaction. And for evaluation, uh, this looks at what was good or bad about the experience. So th the evaluation happens after the description. Number 33. In selecting media or materials to be used in teaching a lesson, which element should be considered first? Letter A, the learner. Letter B, the objective. Letter C, the subject matter. Or letter D, the evaluation process. The correct answer is letter B, of course, the objective. So in instructional planning, especially when selecting media or materials, the learning objectives is the first and most essential element to consider. Number 34, performing experiments is an example of what experience? Letter A, contrived experience. Letter B, real world experience. Letter C, dramatic experience. Or letter D, direct purposeful experience. The correct answer is letter D, direct purposeful experience. So performing experiments is the is a first-hand uh, purposeful activity where the learner actively engages in doing and discovering. So this aligns with Dale's cone of experience where direct purposeful experiences are the most concrete form of learning and involves real-life action. Okay, let's discuss why the other choices are wrong. For letter A, the contrived experience, this one involves models or simulations, not actual experimentation, like for example, using a virtual lab. For letter B, real world experience, although this one is close, but this is too broad. So not all real world experiences are instructionally designed like 
purposeful experiences. For dramatic experience, let us see this involves role play or performances, not actual scientific inquiry. So only letter D. Number 35, the following elements are present in Bloom's revised taxonomy. So which is an exception? Letter A, creating. Letter B, evaluating. Letter C, synthesizing. Or letter D, remembering. The correct answer is letter C, synthesizing. So in the original Bloom's taxonomy, synthesis was the second highest level. But in the revised Bloom's taxonomy by Anderson and Crosswell, creating a uh, replaced synthesis and became the highest level. So creating this one is the top level in the revised version evaluating is the second highest level and remembering for letter d is the lowest cognitive level in both versions so the one that's, that is an exception for the bloom's taxon the bloom's revised taxonomy is synthesizing 36 Mr. Diko A. Lam, a philosophy instructor, discussed chapters in a single session by merely reading his PowerPoint presentation because of what uh, because he was unprepared. He did not even consider students' grasp of learning. What knowledge area does Mr. Diko lack? Letter A content, letter B pedagogical, letter C technological content, or letter D pedagogical content. The correct answer is letter B, pedagogical. So pedag pedagogical knowledge refers to how teaching is effectively delivered, including classroom management, instructional strategies, and understanding of learners. So Mr. Lam used content or the PPP but failed to engage learners or ensure comprehension, showing weak pedagogical skill. Okay, so let's discuss the other choices. Letter A, content. Uh, this is wrong because Mr. Lam has the content, uh, what was written in the PowerPoint presentation, even if he didn't deliver it effectively. For letter C, technological content uh, involves how to use technology to teach content effectively. So he used uh, technology poorly, but the main issue was teaching strategy, not the technology itself. For letter D, pedagogical content, this refers to how to teach specific content well. So he didn't show general teaching skill at all. So the broader pedagogical knowledge is the core issue. Number 37, in order to further their learning and skills through insights and suggestions of music experts online, Professor Maria Cathy required her music class to publish the music video through YouTube Facebook and TikTok. Which technology integration did she exemplify? Letter A, redefinition. Letter B, modification. Letter C, substitution. Or letter D, augmentation. The correct answer is letter A, redefinition. So the redefinition from the SAMR model uh, involves creating new tasks that were previously inconceivable without technology. So sharing original music on social media platforms for real-world feedback completely de redefines traditional classroom activities like in-class presentations or essays. Okay. So let's discuss the other choices. Modification for letter B, this involves significant task redesign, but not creating a new learning experience like this. Substitution, there is no functional change, just replacing or substituting. Augmenta augmentation, this adds technical support, but without transformation. So for redefinition, it's all about transformation. Number 38, which element of the SAMR model is shown when teacher Lebron taught basketball skills by showing a video instead of demonstrating them? Letter A, redefinition. Letter B, modification. 
letter C, substitution, or letter D, augmentation. The correct answer is letter C. So the teacher replaced a live demo with a video. So the task uh, teaching a skill remains the same, just delivered through technology. So um, it, this is just substitution because there is no functional improvement or redesign. Okay. Oh, okay, let's discuss other choices. Redefinition, no new task or transformation occurred. So this that is why this one is not correct. Modification is not correct because there is no major redesign of the task, as well as augmentation. So augmenta augmentation, this would require added features or functionality. So only letter C is the best answer. Number 39, you have to remember the steps in opening a computer if you want to do it on your own. At what level of assessment is remembering the steps? Letter A, analysis. Letter B, retrieval. Letter C, metacognition or letter D, knowledge utilization. The correct answer is letter B, retrieval. So in Kendall and Marzano's new taxonomy, Retrieval is the lowest level of cognitive processing, so it refers to recalling facts, procedures, or sequences, like remembering steps to open a computer, so retrieval is the correct answer. Let's discuss why the others are wrong. Analysis involves breakdown in, uh, breaking down of information and recognizing patterns or relationships. Metacognition is all about thinking about your thinking, so this involves self-monitoring and planning. Knowledge utilization is all about applying knowledge to real-world tasks, so this goes beyond just remembering. So letter B is the best answer. Number 40, the students were expected to be able to develop a lesson plan following outcomes-based education principles. Based on Kendall's and Marzano's new taxonomy, which level is intended a learning outcome? Letter A, analysis. Letter B, self-system. Letter C, metacognition. Or letter D, knowledge utilization. The correct answer is letter D, so knowledge utilization. Developing a lesson plan and applying OBE principles requires the practical application of knowledge. So knowledge utilization is the highest cognitive level in Kendall and Marzano's taxonomy. And this aligns with problem solving and task performances. So letter D. Uh, why the others are wrong for the analysis, this deals with examining or di dissecting content, so not applying it in a plan. Self-system self involves motivation and personal relevance. While mot metacognition is all about planning and monitoring one's learning, but this is not about creating performance-based output like lesson plans, so only letter D is the best answer. Number 41. Which phase in the ADI model composes the formative and summative testing of instructions, educational activities, and training programs? Letter A, analyze. Letter B, develop. Letter C, implement. Or letter D, evaluate. The correct answer is letter D. So in the evaluate phase of ADI, so the letter E evaluate, both formative and summative assessments are conducted to determine the effectiveness and impact of instruction. So this includes testing and revising instruction based on feedback, so letter D. Uh, for analyze, this need, uh, needs assessment and goal definition. Develop is about creating materials and resources, while implement is delivering the instruction to learners. Number 42, all teachers in the 21st century should become what? Letter A, digital police. Letter B, digital natives. 
letter C, digital citizens, or letter D, digital immigrant. The correct answer is letter C. So a digital citizen is someone who uses technology responsibly, ethically, and effectively. So this is what 21st century teachers must model and promote. Okay, letter C. Um, digital police, letter A, is not an educational role. This sounds authoritarian and unrelated to pedagogy. Uh, digital natives describes students born in the digital age, not uh, about teachers. And for digital immigrant, describes those who had to adapt to technology later in life. But the goal is to become competent, not just adopted. So let us see if the best answer. Number 43, the ICT competency standards for teachers include all of the following except one. So which one? Letter A, use of technology tools. Letter B, ethical issues on the use of the ICT. Letter C, enhanced financial literacy skills. Or letter D, use of digital and non-digital tools. The correct answer is letter C. Again, we are talking about the exceptions. So letter C in enhanced financial literacy is the correct answer. While financial literacy is important, it's not a core part of ICT competency standards for teachers. Okay, ICT standards focus on effective, ethical, and purposeful use of digital tools in teaching. Number 44, which of the following encompasses all these concepts, gadgets, internet, and computers? Letter A, gadgets. Letter B, internet. Letter C, technology. Or letter D, computers. The correct answer is letter C. Of course, technology is the broadest term that includes gadgets, the internet, computers, digital tools, software, and systems used to solve problems or enhance productivity and learning. So letter C. Uh, a gadget is a subcategory of technology like, for example, phones, tablets. Internet is a tool or network, not the umbrella concept. For a computer, this is just one form of technology, so this is not inclusive of all. So technology is the correct answer. Number 45, which is the fastest way to find the meaning of a word in Webster? Letter A, ask a friend in the library. Letter B, text the teacher to answer. Letter C, Google the word on the internet, or letter D, use another dictionary in the library. Okay, the correct answer is letter C. So using search engines like Google gives instant access to digital dictionaries, including web search. So with definition, pronunciation, and examples. So this is the fastest and most efficient way. So as Google, the word on the internet is the correct answer. Okay, well done completing part three of our technology for teaching and learning review. So you've now covered the most essential concepts to prepare confidently for the licensure examination. So uh, go ahead and drop your scores in the comments and let us know what profit or gen ed or major shift topics you want to review next so your input helps us support more future teachers like you so this is teacher r saying study hard because by failing to prepare you are preparing to fail see you in the next videos bye bye